Amen. First Kings 6 and 12 says, Concerning this house, which thou art in building, if thou wilt walk in my statutes and execute my judgment and keep all my commandments to walk in them, that I will perform my word with thee, which I spake unto David thy father. Yes, I'll make a covenant with you, son. Amen. amen. That's what he did. He made a covenant with David. Amen. Praise God. He walked into David's heart. Amen. amen. And David served him all the days of his life. Amen. Amen. Praise God. He walked in there. Amen. And I can just picture him pulling that soul apart and stepping up in there yes. and shutting Lord. that door. Amen. Lord. His eyesight changed. Amen. Lord. His heart changed. Yes. Amen. The things he loved. Amen. How he loved them changed. Yes. Amen. Praise God. When somebody mistreats you, you can still love them. Amen. When somebody spitefully uses you, yes. you can still love them. Amen. You can still pray for them. Yes. Amen. Praise God. How can I do that? God has stepped in my soul. He said, Me and my father will walk in and make our abode in you, our residence. Amen. Praise God. In other words, Amen. In the, in the land terms, I'm going to walk out there and I'm going to set up my mailbox and I'm going to live right there. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to get my mail there. Amen. I'm going to eat, drink there, I'm going to sleep there. Amen. 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 I ain't got no need to go nowhere. Amen. Because I'm at home. Glory. Praise God. I heard your prayer, Solomon. For now have I chosen and sanctified this house. Solomon is sanctified. God sanctified that house. Amen. You didn't sanctify your house. Amen. Christ died for you. Yes, thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory Praise God. God. Glory. For this is the covenant that I have made and that I will make with thee. Oh, <laughs> praise God. Amen. God's going to make a covenant with you. Amen. God's going to join you. Amen. Praise God. A blood covenant. Amen. He's going to make it with you. Praise God. Not your blood. Amen. Because your blood ain't good. Amen. My blood wasn't good. Amen. Amen. He said, I'm going to make a blood covenant with you from some pure blood. Yes, Amen. Some innocent blood. Lord. Amen. There has to be an innocent lamb die. Amen. For us to have this blood covenant. Yes. Amen. His name's Christ Jesus. Yes, Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank God. Amen. God. Amen. Seeing that I built a building. Amen. I've made a preparation. Amen. That's what we do when we repent. Amen. We make it a place for God to come in. And live in our heart. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Make it a place for the Lord to come in. Kind of got to be careful making a place for God. And then not invite Him in. Amen. See, there was somebody that made cleaned out the house. Swept him, garnished him, but didn't ask him to come in. Amen. And what left brought seven more back to the land. Come on, that's true, brother. Amen. When we clean out that house, Brother Jesse, and we sweep it and we garnish it, yes. we got to say, okay, God, I'm ready for you to come yes, in. Yes, amen. It's time Hallelujah. for you to come in. Yes, Lord. Praise Jesus. God. It's time for you to set up residence. Yes. This is your house. Yes. I give it to you. Lord. I'm turning it over to you, God. Yes, Lord. This is your house. Yes. Amen. I, I don't own this house no more. I give yes, it to Lord. you, God. Yes. It belongs to you, God. Yes. I don't put yes, things Lord. in there that ain't supposed to be there. Yes. It's your house. You decorated. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Let me tell you, Sister Lee, you decorating your house. Amen. You're yes. not going to let me just bring any old thing in there and set it up on your counter and say, hey, this is going to stay here forever. If you don't like it, you're going to chuck it out the door, ain't you? Amen. Amen. That's the same way God is with His Amen. house. Amen. Hallelujah. If He don't like it, it can't stay there. Amen. If you want to keep it there, 
He's going to go. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I'm going to tell you, church, God's good in the building. Amen. Amen. God it wants to be pleased with your eyes. Amen. Amen. He said First Chronicles chapter 6. Amen. Praise God. Verse 19. He said, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, that ye are not your own, for ye are bought with a price. Yes. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Amen. Amen. See, the temple He wants now is this temple. Amen. He said, I want to come in. I've heard your prayer. I've heard you pray, Solomon. I've heard your prayer, and I come. I come to sanctify this house. Amen. Because I'm pleased with this house. Amen. And I'm going to come to move in. <laughs> my eyes are going to be there, and my heart's going to be there. Yes, yeah, praise God. Amen. I'm never going to leave you, Solomon. I'm never going to forsake you, Solomon. I'm going to go with you always. He said, I will give you power that you can tread, tread on scorpions, take up serpents. Yes. Amen. I give you power over all power to me. How can you do that? He walks in. Amen. Hallelujah. He walks in. Yes, he does. Hallelujah. He said, I'm going to give you the ability to overcome. You want to know why I believe that so many people minds are bombarded with the things of this world because they don't put enough word in their mind. Amen. That's true. They don't put enough word in their mind. <laughs> because when Paul will come, the first thing will come beside it will be the word of God. Yes, amen. Why is there so much going on in the house of God? Because the house of God is not keeping the word of God in it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Why is our minds being bottled? Because we're not reading like we should. Amen. The things that we need to fight this world with, we're not putting in here. Amen. Amen. This is where the warfare is at. Amen. It's your mind. Amen. That's why he said, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Yes, amen. How are you going to renew your mind? Are you going to renew it by watching God's book? Amen. Amen. Matt Dillon's dead. He's going to come fight your battles for you. Come on, bro. Amen. You might be in a war, but let me tell you, the Duke ain't leading the pack anymore. Come on, bro. Come on now. Those fellas are dead. Yes, they are. General Patton ain't coming. Come on. He's dead. Yes, he is. The only one that's going to help fight your battles is the one that's alive. His name is Christ. Amen. 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 He's the only one that's alive. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Might as well put him in there. Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, one of my prayers is when I pray before I do a service. I said, Lord, you bring out the word that you allow me to put in. Yes, amen. To help somebody. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. While we have so many trials that we can't overcome, we don't put the work in. He said, My eyes and my heart be in this house. Yes. So he's in here. Yes. We've got to put his word in here. Amen. Right? Amen. So we can fight the fights. Yes. Amen. So we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but just power. The prince of power is powers, darkness, rulers of this world. fight flesh and blood anymore. Amen. Flesh and blood is faultless. 
knuckles, sticks, rocks, guns, and knives. Right? Amen. Bombs. What's the Bible say? Figured out to you. Amen. They're still fighting a carnal fight because they're of the devil. Amen. We're fighting a spiritual battle. Thanks. 